is our recession vacation. We have 300 bucks. No, we don't even have We don't yet. even have 300 bucks We, we yet. actually, I think right now I have $40 in my pocket. $20 remaining on my credit card. We're going to go ask my dad for some money. We're going to potentially borrow $300 with which to get all the way down to Seattle to go see Flight of the Concords. And then come back. We're gonna show everybody all about how to take a recession vacation. Yeah. And we're uh, currently driving through the dregs of Central Alberta, Highway 2, towards Red Deer, where Leanna's paternal figure lives. And we're gonna see if we can score some dough. Yep. We're gonna see if we can steal some granola bars, too. Yeah, Leanna's dad runs the food bank in Red Deer, and he is like the coolest, but also the scariest guy. He rides, he rides motorcycles, and he's very nice. So we're gonna see if we can't get some fruit and vegetables from him. Maybe some beverages too. Maybe some beverages. Because we don't have any money to spend on a. Part of, part of our plan is to forge live wild plants off the side of the highway and make smoothies. Brought my magic bullet. Apparently you can eat just about anything green. But the only reason we eat lettuce and celery and, and all that other stuff is because that's what's been cultivated. That's what's accepted as, as food in our, in our modern day and age. And frankly, if I can eat grass and be okay or birch leaves, I mean... You never have to buy food again. It's true. All you need is a magic bullet to make a nutritious smoothie. You get yourself a plant identification guide. Edible and medicinal plants. This one here is by Terry Willard. He's a herbalist. Like me. <laughs> we got another identification guide. The medicinal plants and herbs. We're gonna we're gonna pick 